job, I would be flipping burgers right now. This would be like burger com because I have that kind of power. Yeah, okay, but a lot of times, um, I kind of have a problem with Ameritech technicians. I know about three that I really respect. Um, I know about 40. And the problem is, is that most of them are idiots. Um, they have really poor training, and that's, that's company, unfortunately. It's not the people's fault that the company won't train them. They pretty much say, yeah, we gave you like a week's worth of training on you know, standard, you know, nothing's weird in this equation, uh, situations. Figure it out. Well, okay, I'm not supposed to repair D DS1s. Well, figure it out. It's just, you know, 20, it's just jump wire. Figure it. Fix it. Make it work. Um, that happens a lot. A lot of, time, of, of problems that you'll suddenly have, there was nothing wrong. Um, but your entire neighborhood doesn't have a phone line and there was no backhoe in the area, is that somebody didn't know you can't cut the wires. Or Paul Timmons, in fact, did get a squirrel in a jar of peanut butter in a cross-connect box. Anyone who knows Paul and understands that joke. He, he's never done it to my knowledge, but he threatened to do it to me once, and I almost went myself laughing because it was just so damn funny. Well, because he can figure out where my cross-connect is. I mean, I know where it is. I actually found it before I found my, my apartment where I'm living now. I'm like, oh, there's my CO. I live three blocks and the CO is on a corner. You can't miss it. I give it as a landmark. Okay, you go down, when you, when you get to Mac, there's a, a Maritech building on your, left, on your right, turn left. And, um, well, all my friends are phone geeks, so they're like, what silly code is that? I'm proud to say I don't know. <clears throat> it makes me feel good about myself that I don't know something that useless. Um, but yeah, most I refer to Ameritech technicians as pretty much meat things, meat bags, and train chimps. Now, that's not accurate because, well, you can train chimps to do a better job. Their verbal skills will be lacking, I admit. They'll be on par with Ameritech. There'll be even distribution at that point. However, they would be able to crawl rafters quicker, easier, without complaining. And they'd be more pleasant, and they only throw half as much feces. I have had to clean up more Ameritech nonsense messes just because they don't know what the hell they're doing than I care to, to admit to. Um, and it happens. You know, I make mistakes, I'm a human being. Believe it or not, the phone guy actually is human. I can, I have, a, it's a rumor. <clears throat> but most of us don't act like we're human. Um, it's a very dirty job, it's very disgusting, it's very thankless. Um, I'll be in your ceiling for 45 minutes, um, crawling through like, 500 years worth of dust. Actually, I have crawled through asbestos uh, dust that had been there minimum of 100 years. Um, <clears throat> Detroit houses the third largest number of pre-depression buildings in the United States. I'm in their crawl spaces. <laughs> There's a reason why I weigh 165 pounds and I'm six foot tall. It's because if I gain any weight, I can't work. I can't, if I can't get my head and shoulders into it, I can't, I can't pull cable through it. My boss is overweight, which is why I'm the poor schlub who falls 40 feet when all of a sudden there's no more support underneath you. And it hurts a lot. You don't get the rest of the day off, by the way, at my company. Um, the phrase, suck it up, you're not bleeding, was, was uttered. <clears throat> he was a drill sergeant, and it shows. But yeah, you, typically you get someone who comes in and they're just a complete cock knocker. Yeah. Okay, um, you got some kind of problem here. Uh, according to my order, I'm supposed to just test this out. No, that's not what we said when we ordered the, we made the trouble ticket. In actuality, what we're supposed to do is I've got no dial tone. I need you to, to fix it. And while you're here, I need you to actually bring it to the DMARC, not leave it hanging on the ceiling. <clears throat> yeah, well, actually, I recently, as recently as last week, had somebody take the line, the pair off the DMARC, pull the cable back. It was like a Cat 3 coming in. It was for their DSL and their fax line. They, they beanied it. Again, this is a DSL. They beanied it to um, an existing Cat 5 cable that was run up through the ceiling. They terminated the Cat 5 early, and they left the DSL router plugged in in the ceiling because that's where the Cat 5 went. Now, never mind that I had a 25 pair running to the extended D mark. It was labeled 
two extended DMARC, room 25. It was like the one in 30 that I actually label. I never label things because, well, who the hell needs to know that? It's, it's obvious. It's 25 pairs going to the front. Think about it. Okay, well, thinking about it and reading the freaking, you know, anyone know the phrase RTFM? Read the fucking manual. It's applicable in many cases in my job, and um, no one does it. If you have someone who's coming in as a cock knocker, even if they're wearing the shirt, they're wearing the belt. They got the truck with a flashing yellow light. They have ID. You can verify it. It's it, absolutely, you're right. I'm sorry, before I let you in, I need to have your identification. I want to confirm your identity. You go, you start downloading porn off Kazaa. Uh, you get on game for about 10 minutes. And you pick up the phone. You, they might be an 800 number, I don't know. Um, and you call and go, yeah, I got this guy, and he's here. Um, I want to confirm his identity. And it takes about five minutes to figure out who the hell this is. Um, actually, you, if you scan it and then go to Kinko's, you can get a really, really nice print. Um, I had an instructor once who, what he did was, he was retiring and go, going in as a private contractor. And they were removing, re taking away his, um, his badge because he's the contractor now. He's not like staff. So he, could, he only got the contractor badge and that only let him into like part of the building. Well, so what he did was he went to Kinko's and he Xeroxed. He did a photo, color photocopy of his badge and he laminated it. And everybody knew he retired and they're like, dude, you're still here? Yeah. And he just went in and whenever somebody else would like swipe their card, he would just walk in after them. Um, yeah, not checking ID is pretty rampant. Now that was actually fairly slick. You know, I mean, the, 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 everyone knew the guy personally. And he was doing it as a joke. He wasn't like you know stealing proprietary information. He wasn't a bad guy. In fact, he was a great teacher. Um, he knew more about ADTSE than I ever care to know. Um, but yeah, check an ID. And you're allowed to make their lives hell. It is your God-given right to make their lives a nightmarish, living, breathing hell because you're the customer and they do it to me every day. And you should. Um, but, again, the way I'm dressed right now, any one of you would say, oh, yeah, you can fix stuff. <clears throat> and once you're in the building, see, the phone guy doesn't exist. I don't have a name. I don't have an identity. I'm, I'm the phone guy. I haven't had privilege of person in four years. Which is nice because I like the anonymity. I like being the shadowy man who just fi ma magically fixes stuff. I refer to um, my repairs in my paperwork as FM. Anyone know the phrase FM? Y yes, exactly. It's fucking magic. How'd you fix it? Well, it was working. It wasn't working before. I plugged in my tester. It suddenly started, it came to life. I can't find what was causing the problem. It's fucking magic. Now, with the customer, you make up what happened. You're like, you know, I'm not 100% sure. I think it was like a loose wire um, at the DMARC. I, I just re-terminated. Um, that probably will clear up. It might not. You might have a secondary issue. Um, if you do, give us a call. We'll be happy to come back out again and see if we can recreate the problem. Um, at this point, I can't recreate it, so I'm assuming that was the only problem. Yeah, it's freaking magic. Um, $65 an hour for me to plug in a tester. Minimum of one hour. If you live far, far away from where my, my apartment is, we charge you for the, the mileage because, well, I'm far, far away. My boss whines, why did it take you two hours to get there? Because it's two and a half hours away and I drove really effing fast. Well, don't get a ticket, but get there faster. <laughs> did I mention he's insane? Yes. <clears throat> I digress. Um, I've been let into vaults. I actually only wanted to go in the vault to see if they would let me in. Now, this bank knew me. I admit, that, that was cheating. They knew who I was. <clears throat> uh, my office is across the street from this location. Um, and I had been doing there for three years. But I'm like, you know, I think you got some cable running through the vault. And I think that's the problem with your voicemail. Um, so I need to get in there. Would that be cool? I mean, I understand if you don't, but um, there's not much I can do if you don't. So. Um, yeah, pretty much, because um, I'm not running new cable through that, through that freaking vault because it's, it's fire stopped on both ends. And you probably can't even see it. It's probably actually behind the blast wall. Um, and customers don't know what the hell you're talking about, so you can make up things like a blast wall. <laughs> and it's good. It's all good. Um, 
I do not condone anyone doing this illegally, by the way. Um, you will go to jail when you're caught for being an idiot. Um, and if you are, don't mention my name. Um, again, I, do, I only do this because this is my job. This is what I do for a living, and I'm just having a little bit of fun with them. I'm led into secure sites, um, confidential record storage. Um, they have no problem with me you know, walking around completely unescorted. My hair was down to here, and I looked like I was smoking dope all morning. Um, sure, go on to the record room. It's all good. Uh, let's see, who else let me in? Um, one time, I was trying to configure a voice over IP um, facet for a fairly large, well, fairly large copy manufacturer. They make photocopies, and it wasn't Xerox. And their T1, they couldn't do the voice over IP over th this dedicated circuit. And so I'm configuring it, and I said, okay, here's what I need. Um, I need you to give me your server password and username. I need your admin account because it will not take changes as a guest. I can't make this configuration. And it, it was true. So without question, I'd never met this guy. I still had yet to meet him. Um, he was at the other location. He's like, well, I can just tell that and, and log it in. I'm like, well, I have to keep rebooting the machine every time I make an attempt. And I predict about 12 because I don't know what the hell I'm doing, basically. You know, you've got this third-party application you want me to configure. You bought it. I don't know it. You don't have a tech for it. I'm the best you got. Um, okay, well, this is my password. He says, I mean, I can just change it after you leave, right? Yes. Yes, you can. Now, I admit I did not backdoor it. I thought about it. I stood there with the, my fingers poised over the keyboard, thinking, do I really want to own someplace who sells, like, multi-thousand dollar copiers? I don't really have anything I need to copy, though. Um, I'm not about greed. I'm really not. I'm very strange. I'm not financially oriented, which is why I'm poor. But, you know, I'm cool with it. My creditors are pretty pissed. But, <clears throat> but fuck them. Um, it, but it's all good. But I do things because I'm curious. I like to explore. Um, I love these buildings that are 100 years old because, like, it's, you get this glorious architecture that's been, like, covered up by, like, a false ceiling. You know, you get to see this, like, this beautiful, like, stone arch, you know, that's like, dude, you should gut your, your building and, like, paint it. Seal, water seal this. This is godlike. No, the ceiling looks nice. I. Yes, we do use that word in this industry. I is, in fact, a, an affirmative response. Jason, are you awake? No, I know you can sleep with your eyes open. I've seen it before. It's glorious. Yeah. Don't give the phone guy your server password. You deserve every bad thing he does to you if you do it. I promise you. I only know one tech. I only personally know one technician that I would trust with my voice and data applications at the same time. If for voice over IP. And it's not Paul Timmons. Paul's my boy, but he doesn't configure Cisco every stinking day. Ben Mason is the only person I would trust for telephony and for data. Um, and I wouldn't trust me, quite frankly, because I'm a butcher. Um, I do bad things to, to computers. I admit it. Um, I'm a freaker who hacks, not a hacker who freaks. But, you know, to each his own. Um, but the reality is, is that the phone guy is untrained at all. Did anyone here have DSL? All right. When they installed your DSL, did they seem like the village idiot? Did they seem to identify what a computer was, or did they actually have a written checklist of what to do step by step? Like the, the complete and utter idiot's guide to installing a DSL line. Bring in phone number. Put on jack. Put on filters. Plug in unit. Power on. Do loop back test. I have I have seen the I've seen a lot of like bizarre DSL things. Um, typically it's the we have this DSL line, it's also our fax machine. And it's not filtered. And you have problems, you say. Have you tried a DSL filter? Yeah, but um, it kept falling out of the wall. And I care why. Buy a new one. 
buy a better one, buy the master one, buy the one that's 25 bucks. I don't care. It's not my money. Anyone ever not hear somebody in an office someplace where you wanted to beat them to death because they said, 